Hey, Kelly. Great, come on in. Sorry, I'm late. No, no problem, Jay. I'm just glad you're here. Wow. How you doing? I'm fine. Yeah. Wow, you well, you you look fine. <laughs> well, I am. Huh. How are you? Me? Oh, I'm fine. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Can I get you a coat? Thank you. All right. So, how are classes today? Fine. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You go to dance class? Yeah. Learn any new steps? <laughs> well, it's not that kind of dance, Dad. It, it's interpretive. It's like uh, you use your whole body to express ideas and emotions and, and whole themes through a series of movements. You want a root beer? <laughs> no, thanks. Can I, can I help you with dinner? Oh, you sure can. Yeah, just finish uh, tossing the old salad there, and I'm going to take care of the main course. Okay, what do you like? You like turkey with all the trimmings, or if not, I uh, can whip us up some Salisbury steaks. <laughs> Turkey's fine. Turkey? Got it. Okay, dinner's gonna be ready in nine to 11 minutes. <laughs> Got a little time. Anything special you wanna talk about? Dad, I have this feeling you're dying to know about my date. Hey, honey, if you want to talk about it, go ahead, you know. <laughs> well, there's nothing to talk about. Good. <laughs> it went fine. What? We had a nice time. It went fine. A date? <laughs> yeah. Date with a professor? Right. You guys went out after all, huh? Dad, I told you we were going out. Dad, yeah, yeah, that's right. You did. I, you did. What's the matter? Nothing. Nothing's the matter. You had your date with a professor and went great. I couldn't be happier for you. Here, butter this and stick it in the oven, will you? Dad, you're obviously upset. Honey, I am bursting with pride. Come on. Oh, wow. See, look at that. When I left the boat untied. What a bonehead. I just finished taking care of dinner. Would you just toss some more salad? I gotta go tie the boat up. I'll be right back. Coach Fox, what a nice surprise. Let's talk. Problem? Yeah. Am I fuzzy here, or didn't you and I have an agreement that you were not gonna go out with my daughter? You're not fuzzy at all. Well, one of us is fuzzy because she tells me the two of you went out. She's lying. Lying? I didn't mean lying, I meant fuzzy. I canceled the date last night. Well, then why'd you tell me you went out? I don't know, but I swear I broke the date. What do you think, I'm crazy? No, I don't want any trouble here. I did what you asked me to do, and now I'm asking you to leave. Please. Otherwise, I'll have to call out the window as loud as I can. Dad! Kelly, what are you doing here? I followed you. This is your daughter? Yeah. I've never been out with you, have I? No. See? Then why'd you tell me you went out with him? I never said I went out with Professor Sterling. But all your other professors are women. Well, I never said I went out with one of my professors. I just said I went out with a professor. <laughs> you know, I'm good at fixing these things. I think I just push this little okay. thing right now. I'm really embarrassed by this. Not half as embarrassed as I am so sorry, Dr. Sterling. God. Dad, how could you do this? I don't know. I was just being a father. I mean, I, I did what I thought father would do. I got your class schedule, and I, I looked up and saw who your professors were. I, I naturally assumed it was Professor Sterling here. So I tracked him down like an animal, and I threatened him. <laughs> I was just showing my love. <laughs> Kelly, you know, uh, I'm really no good at this father stuff, you know? I mean, I think about your mom and how she would have handled it and how she worried because she knows you're here and how she's partly worried because she knows I'm here and she knows I don't know anything about this stuff, see? Uh, I mean, after all, it's been 16 years since I've been a full-time father. I know that. Well, you know, fathers make mistakes, you know? Only they get to spread them out over a whole lifetime. I mean, I'm playing catch-up ball here, kid. <laughs> seem to be having a lot of luck with that. <clears throat> you two are obviously going to talk for a while, so I'm just going to step out into the hall. Yeah, why don't you go ahead, John? That's fine. 
Kelly, I am really sorry that I embarrassed you. Well, Dad, I'll get over being embarrassed. What I can't get over is the fact that you didn't trust me. Well, you didn't trust me either. You wouldn't tell me who the professor was. Well, I didn't tell you because I knew what would happen. What? This! Oh. <laughs> All right, well, we got to fix this. Yeah, I know that. Well, then, let's fix it. How? Well, first of all, we could admit that we really don't know each other that well. And it's kind of hard to trust someone that you don't know. That's true. And you know, Dad, I can tell that you still think of me as a little girl. But I'm not. I'm 18 years old. Yeah, I know, Kelly, and, and that must seem growing up to you, huh? But, uh, you know, I was 18 once, too. And I know how it felt. You know, it's only now that I, I put some years behind me and I got some wisdom, you know? I'm putting tonight aside that... <laughs> I realize I didn't know everything back then. You know, I got a lot more to offer as a father than I think you know. And if I'm going to trust you, you're going to have to give me that. Fair enough. Now, how do we kick this thing off? How about if I tell you the name of the professor I went out with? Perfect. <laughs> it was Professor Cameron. Fine. Fine. I, mean, I can handle that. Come on. Why don't you just go back to the cabin and I'll meet you there, sweetheart? What do you say? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, come on, I was joking. It was just a little joke. Uh, I was joking, too. His name's not Professor Cameron. <laughs> Boy, we got a long way to go, don't we? Yeah, yeah. Do you like cold turkey? Yeah. Let's go have some. Hey, John, your office is ready. 